that we have defining statement. Even before that, if you remember the cartoons that were published in Denmark, the magazine of Charles Hebdo in France, and also Swedish caricatures that were published there in some European countries, and recently that were edited by Nupur Sharma and also Naveen Jindal. We condemn all those statements in as strong as possible terms. We ask Indian government for clear and remorseful apology. We also ask the government of Bangladesh to summon Indian High Commissioner in India, in Bangladesh, and give him or hand him over a note of protest. My brothers in Islam, we have to love the Prophet Muhammad as the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We don't have time to talk about in details, you know, all of the, the Sahaba used to love the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us listen to what Abu Sufyan said. Abu Sufyan said, مَا رَأَيْتُ أَحَدًا يُحِبُّ أَحَدًا كَمَا يُحِبُّ أَصْحَابُ مُحَمَّدٍ مُحَمَّدًا I have not seen one to love another as the companions Muhammad do, the dad Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This Sahabi farmer, when the Prophet died, subhanAllah, he became so emotional and he supplicated to Allah, O oh Allah, take away my eyesight. I don't want to see anybody else after the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma adhi bibasari. Zaid ibn Dathina, when he was asked, would you like would you like the Muhammad to be in your place and you be with your family? He said, never. Even Muhammad where he is now, a throne could hurt him. And that condition for being with my family, I'll never agree with that. Sa'ad bin Abu Uqas said to mom, his mother, if you have thousand souls and it depers one after another, I would not forsake my religion. Umar al-Khattab said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, I love you more than I do on my own self. This is how Sahaba loved them, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to keep in mind, those make derogatory statements or defaming statements regarding Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah promised, and you, His words is true, Inna kafaynaka mustahzi'in. Allah says, I will suffice against those mockers, against those scoffers. That's why history shows us again and again those who made defaming statement, they were punished, killed in various ways. We have to learn from those positive scholars in the West. We know Michael H. Hart, who wrote the book, The Hundred, when he put the Prophet Muhammad on top of list, he said, I choose Muhammad to be on the top. It may surprise some readers, may be questioned by some others. But he was the only supreme person. He was the only person who was successful on both religious and secular level. Lamartine, a French philosopher, he said, if the greatness of purpose, a smallness of means, and the astounding results are the three three criteria for human genius who could dare to compare any great man in history with Muhammad is there any man greater than he the very logical answer to this question for all over the world for whole time type, for whole time to come as a big no there is no greater other than he there is no greater other than he George Barnard show we know him. He said, if Muhammad, like him, were take the dictators of Europe, he would bring much needed peace and happiness to the whole world. This is how they tell. My brother Islam, I want to conclude my short speech. One thing more. They call it freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Freedom of speech is allowed as long as you are not violating the freedom of others. I remember when Pope was traveling to Philippines and he was accompanied by key manager or travel manager, Dr. Gaspario. Journalists asked him, what do you say about the insulting Prophet Muhammad? Is it a freedom of speech? He said, no. 
if my good friend, good friend, Dr. Gaspario, speaks of bed of my moon mother, what had King expect? He expect to get pounds, and he is pretending. Even Russian president said, to insult Prophet Muhammad is not a freedom of speech. Freedom of expression is not allowed. My brothers in Islam, economic boycott is a very effective tool. We urge Bangladesh government to boycott Indian products all over the world. This is due to all Muslims around the world. And also we have to be very careful, very careful. We have to present our Prophet Muhammad to the world community through the internet, through the mass media, through other ways or means. And we have to practice what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said or approved of us. My dear brothers, there are a lot of things to tell, but time is not allowing. Jazakallah khair. Giving for very patient here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.